Hey guys, this is Heretic, and this is the Gollum Strategy Guide for February 2021. Um, in this guide, I'm going to start off by applying the buffs and things that you would do no matter what your level, no matter what your setup is. Um, and then I will show my march, which is a critical march. Um, and then at the end of the video, towards the end, I'm going to show how you should set up if your max uh, tier level is tier 11 or your max tier level is tier 10. And I'll also give you resources for um, other types of marches if you have below 30% critical strike. So stick around towards the end. Before I get started though, uh, make sure you give a like if you do like the video. Um, tell your friends about the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'm gonna start by applying all the buffs that I would do for um, Gollum. So the very first thing, because it's the easiest to forget, is you look in appearance and go to accolades and make sure you have frames. As you can see here, these labyrinth frames are the ones that you wanna apply. You kind of always wanna keep these going for PvP, for PvE, no matter what. Um, each of these buffs will apply, all of them will apply at the same time. So it's not just the one that you have selected, the one that you have set as your frame. I have this set as my frame, it has no benefit. It doesn't matter. These army damage buffs, infantry damage buffs, cav damage buffs, and, and bow damage um, buffs will apply anyway. Um, in the past, you were able to see all of your applied buffs. They kind of took that out, um, I'm going to say about six months ago. But we know that it works. So the very first thing I'm going to do is apply these. So I'm going to go into items, look in other, and if I scroll down to the bottom, scroll, 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 scroll. I have these buffs, I'm going to use them. These are the ones that you get from the Labyrinth. Um, do your Labyrinth every day to collect the points to be able to do that. I can show you where that is really quick. Over here, go into the ones that you've already done and plunder them to get the points. Then you can go exchange them for the buffs and you'll see them down here and I've already bought them for today. While you're at it, if you do have the points, go ahead and get your attack, defense, and anti-scout. All right, so now that I've applied them, if I look here in appearance under accolades, I will see now that I have seven days, four hours, and 24 minutes left on them. So that's good. They're all ready to go now. Um, next, I want to do my city buffs. So make sure that you have the best attack available and the best um, March capacity. I'm not going to go, you know, more than two hours in this video, I hope. So I'll just apply the, the, the two hour here. Okay, um, next you want to go over to your war tomes, your library of war. Um, I have my PVP set up right now. I'm going to go ahead and reset it to my PVE. Um, I'm going to apply um, first, no matter what your level is, you'll want to apply the Arrows of Vengeance. Max that out. Um, that's the very first thing. So priorities would be Arrows of Vengeance. Oops, and I clicked all the way out. <clears throat> um, next, you'll want to do the highest uh, bow tiers that you have. Um, your the reason that we do this, and you'll see this in the march makeup as well. Your bowmen are the ones; they're your glass cannons, right? So you're attacking the golem. The golem's not ever attacking you. So you can hit it and not have to worry about defending. So we really don't need the troops that defend as much. Um, so we're very, very heavy in our marches. No matter what type of march you're doing, you're going to be very heavy bowmen. 
Um, and then you'll have some cab as well. Um, and, and you'll see that in a minute. And I keep clicking out of it, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe too much caffeine. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm going to take this all the way down to 9. So with Bowman, and then I'll show you in a minute, your tier 11 and your tier 9 have bonuses against infantry. And we know from experience that the Golem um, is treated as infantry. So your 9s and your 11s are really important. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just max this out on my 9s. Now, with that said, so in a critical march, you have um, six different troop types, right? So you will want to have a little bit of cav. So what I do is I put, because, you know, uh, at 40, you know, tier 12, I will put tier 12 a bowman, cav, tier 11, bowman, cav, and then um, tier a little bit of tier 10, bow, and tier tier nine bow okay so now i will put a little bit and i'm actually going to put it here in my 11s this time because i'm crazy um, usually i would do it in my 12s but i like my tier 11. okay um, so with that, so now I have my war tome set up. So as you can see, I don't have any tomes associated with infantry. Your priorities would be arrows of vengeance and then your highest bow, um, you know, and work your way down. Um, and then if you have any left over, put them into your calf, starting with the uh, defiant charge, I believe is the, the name of it. Let's look here. Defiant charge. And then work your way down is what I would do. Don't put any into steel refuge. That's for um, defense. So I use my 67 there. So I wish I had more. I would do better if I had more. Okay, um, so now I have my accolades set up. I have my city buff set up. And I have my uh, war tome set up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my heroes. Um, all right, and so I'm gonna to go to my hero council. I am going to choose Matic and switch him for Sir Gawain. The reason that I wanna do that is because Sir Gawain gives you a bonus um, for your march capacity. And, and what we do is <clears throat> when we set up our march and when, when we send our march, we have Sir Gawain and then as the march is marching, when they're on their way to Gollum or whatever other PvE um, attack, I will then, in PvP works as well perfectly too, um, I will switch back to Matic for the stats. All right, so now I have my hero set up and he's ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Crown of Command in the store. Right, I've got him set up and I'm going to grab a battle blade for the buffs here. Okay, and just like we did with what we're going to do with the hero, we're going to do a swap. So when I send the march out, I'll have the crown of command. While they're marching, I'm going to switch over to the battle blade to get those buffs. Okay, so I have that set up. The next thing I want to do, well, really, the next thing you want to do is make sure that the distance to the golem is not too far so that it takes, you know, three minutes to get there because then you'll run out of your um, colossal talent when you apply it. And you don't you want to make sure it's not too close because if it's too close you won't have time to do the swaps that we're gonna do so I like it about between 
25 seconds and um, one minute is good for me. So I'm at 45 seconds. That's pretty perfect. So let me go back into my city. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go ahead and apply this buff. Remember, it's only 30 minutes long. So you need to be ready to roll once you set this. So I've activated it. I'm going to go over to my march. And I'm going to make sure that my march is set up the way that I would like it. So when you think about the march, so I'm doing a critical march, so it can only be six um, types. And I want to use all six types. No matter what, you want to use all six types because what will happen is you'll get into, um, into the point where if you put too much, let's say we know that our tier 11 bow do great and we know that our tier 12 do great. If I filled this up with tier 12 and tier 11 bow and that's all I sent, it, it would... I would get to the point where there's diminishing returns. You know, whenever you fight, it, you divide up um, the amount that you send into waves, into waves that'll go out. And that's why there's differences on each of your attacks. Little, you know, it can be between, and you'll see probably between um, five and 20,000 um, or 200,000 um, damage difference. It's it's huge. It's pretty big. Um, and it's just the variations in the, the, the chance percentages and the procs that happen with crit um, percentages and with the um, percentages of the, the kind of the procs that each of your um, heroes have. So I'm all set up. This is kind of the way that I go. Um, you'll see, you know, I'm a little bit heavier on my tier 11 bow. I'm actually gonna switch just a little bit here because I put a little bit more into my tier 11 calf. All right, I'm gonna put him up into 60s and then I'm gonna put the rest over here. All right, save that. All right, and I do have, let's make, ensure that I have Sir Gwaine selected, I do. I have my crown selected, perfect. I have my city buffs, right? I have my city buffs applied. Just my final little check here. Yep, I have this ready to go, 25%. <clears throat> Don't believe I'm missing anything else. So let's go ahead and get it going. So go to the event center, go over to kingdom threat, attack, select the big guy, and select your march. All right, I do have my dragon. That's a good thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send this guy out. And then as soon as I do, I am going to go to my heroes. I'm going to go to appoint heroes and I'm going to swap over to Matic. Then I'm going to go back and over here, switch to my blade and then go back. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we ride Going pro, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, go, on three, two, one A fly, T, can't see me So we go all in, all in. and wait, call it. Numbers up and never falling. Feel like I hit the lottery and proud of me. Yeah. No big proud of me, so I throw proud of away. She know I stuck to the plan and I stayed out the way. Out now we're spending no money, never touching the bank. Touching the bank. Just from me the game and I'ma get it done. I'ma get it done. Don't do it for fame, do it for the ones. Ace with the dog, my damage, my lungs. Mm -hmm. 
Wife, you want to drive, she get what I like getting money, I got time to get it Talking on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash, and the stick is with it And I hit the 4 or 5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride Won't pro, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, go, on three, two I fly out till you can't see me Swish, yeah Falling From the first whistle we go all in All in And when Call it Numbers up and never falling My baby called me and said she need to stay Be for real 25 day all the type of kid Stop playing with me, you know that you here to stay Stop playing with me, I'll be back home in eight. No, I'm on the go, but I'm not over you Made you fall from home, but I'm so close to you Gotta get that back like I'm supposed to do I rest, I cause I'm overdue. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in the dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the west side. But I'm from the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride. I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'm a move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trails, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you boo, I style me. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Who am I to blame? Money made me change. Cardi in my ring when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boring planes. Money in the carry on them boring planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. Ain't have a day off in like 80 days. I got hustles in like 80 ways. Kids, if you won't take a lazy day. Wife, you want me, told me take a break. I keep going to the paper street. Then it's trips up to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I'll get it done. I said it before, I'm a one on one. I just caught some ones, only wearing ones. Fornicate the funds, money made me calm. Diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock and tech. You want that chain, you better cop a vest. You want that check, but can you make it stretch? A look at how we did throughout the battle and you'll see the variations here so you saw we had the 33 million now up to 35 36 36 36 34 see there's, there's quite a bit of variation here 35 2 34 5 35.9. Would have done better if I had the 50% March capacity buff. I would have been up there with uh, Red Yoda this week, who did great, which is probably what he did, but I don't, I don't know. I don't want to guess for him. Um, <clears throat> so now let's talk a little bit. All right, so let's take a, talk a little bit about <clears throat> what you do if you have um, tier 10 only you don't have tier 11 you don't have your your um tier 12. all right so for tier 10 if i was doing this obviously i'm going to pick my dendrain all right these are the two best heroes that you can use by far 
by far nothing's close you can look at the other videos where we compare different pairings nothing is close to the dendrain and brutus pairing so you know i know people oh i use eye grain you use those things before you have these guys all right so <clears throat> let's go down to my tier 11 no infantry you want to do the same thing where you use a little bit of cav you want to use um you know your tier 10 bow and i may not even have the numbers here to support what i'm trying to do but then you would want to go calf and bow uh your tier 9 bow um really high that your tier 9 bow would be let's say 30 to 40 percent of your march easily uh, you know um, your tier 10 bow, maybe 10%. Your tier 8 bow, maybe 10%. And, your, you know, the same, you know, 10, 15%. And the same thing for your, your cav. Your tier 9 cav would be the highest of the cav. Um, and then your tier 10 would be a little bit lower than that. And your, your tier 8 cav would be a lot lower. That would be the least amount of troops that you send. So something like, yeah, something like this is what I would do. <clears throat> I don't have all that, you know, no siege, nothing below that. You're going to want your, your crits to land, right? <clears throat> so if you had um, tier 11, okay, so tier 11 is your highest. Let's say you're stronghold 35. What do you do? You're not going to want your tier 9 calf. You will want your tier 11 bow. You'll want your tier 10. And, and, I, and I take that back. You will want a little bit of calf here for your tier 9 as well. It's going to be your least amount again. Uh, on tier 10, you'll want um, calf and bow. And your tier 11 will be by far the highest here. So you'll want, you know, something like crazy like that. Somewhere around this. <clears throat> so you'll want high tier 11, obviously. You'll want lower tier 10. You'll want medium uh, tier 11, I mean tier 9 bow. <clears throat> and low tier 9 calf. Your war tome, same type of thing. When you saw me do it for tier 12, the same thing applies. Do your your highest levels available. Um, if you're only at um, tier 11, you're not even going to have the option to get tier 12 uh, tomes. So follow the guide the way that I did it. The same way, you'll want to do your Defiant Charge for Cav, and you'll want to do your Arrows of Vengeance, and then if you have anything left over, you want to put them in the highest level bows that you can for your war tomes. You'll want to do your labs um, buffs the same, you know, the same that I do it the same way that I do it here. <clears throat> You'll want to do your swap out with Sir Gwen the same way that I do it. You'll do really well. Um, I'm gonna put the percentages here, and I'm also gonna leave you the very last thing. <clears throat> I get this all the time. I get hey, what do I do with my tier 10? So my first question is, you know, if you're stronghold 33, let's say, so you have you have tier 10, um, so that's the highest, so you want to know how to do that. And I'm, gonna I'm telling you how to do it the crit way, right? But my first question back is always going to be, what is your crit percentage? Okay, so the crit is what shows up in an attack. Find, if I can find an attack here that's not bad. Oops. So it's this, this percentage here. So you're only going to get a crit hit if you have six or less types of, of uh, troops. So if you have tier 12, all three, and you have tier 11 all three that's six different types okay so it's type and tier okay so to see to, to get crit 
you actually train it here in the university. Um, and you train it in War Fury here. You get 10 here, you get 10 here, um, and you get 10 here for your 30, right? I'm sorry, you get 10, 10, 10, and then 10 at the end. So there's your whole 40 here in War Fury. Um, so if you're level 30, I'm going to say you don't have 40 because you're not going to be up here because I think you have to have um, university uh, high 30s or 40 maybe for this. I'm, I don't remember. <clears throat> so make sure that you have at least 30% crit before you try a crit march or you're not going to get the same benefit as you'll get in the revenge game um, PV, PVE calculator, which I'm going to attach, which I'm, I'm going to add as a comment. So it'll be a link um, in the, the comment section of this video. And I'm also going to show you now the, the actual URL. Um, with that, please, if you do have any questions about Gollum, um, configuration issues, um, you know, just any kind of questions at all over Gollum, please leave them here in the, in the comment section. Also, if there's any other type of video that you really want, there's, there's some kind of information that you want that you can't find, um, you know, good information out there on, please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to create videos. My goal for the next seven days is to create one video a day. It's very difficult. Um, I do so many videos that you guys never see because I do them and they just don't, <clears throat> they're just not um, up to the level that I feel like I need to put it onto YouTube. So I'm a little bit embarrassed by them, um, so I don't put them up. But this week, my goal is one video a day for the entire week. And then from then on, at least three videos a week to make it worth it to you to actually subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing both lunar and solar. So for, for example, this next weekend is KVK. I'll be doing a video on solar and a video on lunar at the same time. So it should be pretty interesting. Anyway, um, take care. Have a great week. I hope you did great on Gollum this week. Um, you know, let me know. Take care.